Hi everyone, this video is going to be a swatch and first impressions review for Max Philip Tracy collection, which is currently available on maccosmetics.com. It will be available in stores April 2nd. I believe it will also be launching at Nordstrom around the time it launches in stores. I'm not 100% sure on that, but Mac does usually release most of its collections on Nordstrom and at Macy's also. I will put a link in the description box below for where you can find the collection if you can't get it through maccosmetics.com. Please also see the description box below for links to the individual reviews that I will do for each product. I do those after I fully test them, whereas in this video it's more of a swatch video to show you the true colors and to give you my first impressions of the collection. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel to be eligible for upcoming giveaways. And if you haven't seen the video for Max Mia Moretti collection, I will put that in the window for you to see and click on here if you are interested. Alright, let's get looking at the Philip Tracy collection. Now this collection actually has a lot of re-promoted items and shades. It has paint pots, it has fluid lines, all of which are re-promoted, not new shades. So for this video, I am concentrating on the new items and the new colors. No Faux Pas, the lipstick is actually also a re-promoted shade, but I decided to show it in this video. All right, so there are three lipsticks in this collection. These cost $16 each. Here's the shade No Faux Pas. This is the re-promoted color. Here is Hollywood Cerise. And here is Cardinal. No Faux Pas. Mac describes as a yellow hot pink. To me, this is just a really bright magenta color. And then Hollywood Cerise. Funny enough, Mac describes this as a magenta berry. So I would say that this is more like a violet magenta, whereas this is more of a pink. And then we have Cardinal, which is a yellow burgundy red. All right, so there are your three lipstick shades. If you want to see how these apply on the lips and photos of those lip swatches, make sure to go check out the link in the review. And there are two highlight powders in the collection and these cost $32 each. Here is blush pink and here is nude pink and the silver that you see in the pan is an overspray so that doesn't go all the way down through the pan. Okay so here is blush pink. This is a light pink with silver and this is after taking off the overspray. Here it is with two layers and here it is with three. It is super powdery, um, very nicely silky finely milled but the powder does go everywhere. So here it is up close. I apologize my skin's a little irritated so that redness has nothing to do with the powder but you can see that it's pretty hard to see. It's sort of like a luminizing powder but the shimmer is very very subtle. All right, and now I'm swatching Nude Pink, which is a champagne with silver. Here it is with a second layer applied. It has much better color, but you might be able to see from the fallout just how powdery it is. All right, so there you have one, two, and three layers. Actually, it doesn't change in color very much with layering. All right, so there's the Mac Philip Tracy collection. It's actually a pretty small collection when you weed out all of the re-promoted non-new shades. I find it a little disappointing, especially the formula for the highlight powders. I do still have to test them out on the cheeks, but I just feel like they're gonna be a little awkward to use. And I guess I'm also just a little disappointed with the collection overall because the promotional images were just so stunning and unique and exciting, but the products that Mac chose to include in this collection themselves were just not that exciting and didn't live up to those images. And the really catching part of the collection, which was the highlight powders, I feel like fell short in terms of formulation. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm always interested to also hear your thoughts. I hope that this was helpful to you in deciding if you want to purchase anything and if you do which items you want to purchase. If you enjoyed it or if it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video. 
All right, so let's start out with the lip palette. This is called the Who's the DJ Lip Palette. It has six shades in it and it retails for $40. 